Hi everyone, um, welcome to this week's build. Uh, I think we're on to video or part six of the build now, uh, and this is the uh, the undercarriage. So let's dive straight in. Uh, we're going to start off with the, uh, the the rear jockey wheel. Um, the thing with this wire is, it looks like it should be easier than it is, but it very much like the uh, propeller wire it's, it's very much like wrestling a, a large snake so yeah, there is no not that I'm aware of there's no real easy way it's just you just got to keep twisting and bending uh, the first little the, the circular section of this wheel if you can find a perhaps a bolt or something that's relatively the same diameter um, you can bend it round that which helps to some degree uh, but from there on it is really uh, freelance so you've got your um, your side on view of the wheel and then you need to tip it on edge which is like the plan view where you're looking from above and just mark where that kink is because you're just going to bend it one way and then straight down here just to give you that little blip in the wire which essentially is where it sits under the plane and it goes up alongside the, uh, the center of the structure and the little kink keeps the, uh, the the wheel itself under the center of the plane if you didn't have the kink it would obviously be offset slightly so that's uh, that's why we do that and as for the front wheels, again, no magic secrets. It's difficult again. It's um, long nose pliers of a small variety helped quite a lot. Um, the bit to watch for on this, the bit I, I did, I don't know why, I did, whether I was tired or just old age, I struggled to get to grips with once you've done this part which again is just keep bending it a little bit and then if you go too far bend it back again till you get that nice little loop and then at the end you bend the wire up towards yourself and that gives you one side so having done that you then set about creating the next wire and when you get to the end you then need to bend the wire away from yourself so that when you place them both down you've got and they're alongside each other one the, the, if you take imagine them as being a pair of feet facing away from it themselves and then both of them should have the wire facing up towards you and I don't know why I made such hard work of it, but I, 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 I bent them and then had to re-bend them and re-bend them again. But eventually we got there. So your feet are facing away from each other and the two wires are facing upwards, two bends at the end. So after doing that, the actual assembly of the wheels is a relatively easy affair. Uh, just gluing the, t the two parts together initially then you're going to have like a rim on each side so again just glue them, pop them on flip the wheel over little rim on the other side you're, doing, you're repeating this twice obviously for the two wheels And once that's done, you can either wait for them to dry or continue straight on with your uh, centre sections. I think you're pretty safe to do that. So one side's going to have the plain centres. This is the inside of the wheel, the side you don't really see. So same for both, both wheels. Stick them in. Flip the wheels over and then you're putting in the fancy centres 
and these are going to be on the outside of the wheel, the, the section that you'll see. So, again, same for both wheels. Pop them on. Then they can be dried off. Once the glue is dry, back to your sandpaper, and we're going to try and round off the edges to just make them look a bit more natural. Um, it's just a matter of tickling away and rounding off the edges. Um, you'll be able to see with a little a modicum of effort, you can uh, you can get them to look quite smart. Compared against the uh, the one that's just been glued and not trimmed, it's all square and knobbly. So you just get a slightly nicer finish. And then we want the uh, the wooden legs to cover the wires. Now they they have a hole at one end, so you pop your wire through that hole, and then the uh, the balsa wood just follows the line of the wire and. Uh, just glue the two pieces together. If you make a little slot down the centre of the balsa wood before you glue it to the wire, it just uh, just makes for a slightly neater job. The wire obviously just sits inside the wood. for both sides, pop the, uh, the axle through the hole, flip it round, take the wire inside the slot that you've made inside the wood, put the outside section on top and you can either clamp them or just hold them for a couple of minutes, it don't take too long to uh, the glue to set. Now then we've, uh, we've cut our centre out for the rear jockey wheel. We might just need to just trim it a little bit, sand it a little tiny bit and then use some of your super glue around the edge, pop it inside the wire form that you've made and allow that to dry. Now we put like the wheel covers are going to be glued on top of the, uh, the the wooden leg struts. That's just showing you. It gives you an idea of the angle of the uh, of the covers. But to be honest, if you follow the straight line of the the wheel struts, they end up in the right angle anyway. So again, make sure you get them on the right side. So that uh, you don't end up with two two sides the same, which would look a bit odd when it's when they're sat on the underside of your plane. Once you're happy that you've got your angles and everything right, glue them up, clamp them, and allow them to dry. Once all your pieces are dried off, set the glue, put some, I just give them a quick tickle around with some sealant, uh, just because I'm going to paint them, it's not essential, uh, I just thought, let's go the whole hog, so because the, uh, the balsa wood's so porous, it just needs a little bit of sealer on it, and uh, once that's dry, then you can uh, stick your paint on, give it your best painting job and then put in your little centre pieces with the round domes sitting inside the fancy section that's the, they want to be on the outside and once 
one's there dry, pop the wheels through from the other side, the axles, and here you need to, you can, there's a variety of ways you can do this, uh, just a blob of glue would probably do it, but I found that the, the plastic ends on my panel pins came off very easily uh, and left a, a little hole that um, was roughly the same size as the wire so having taken them off I just glued them onto the end of the axle with a, a blob of super glue and jobs are good so thanks again for joining me uh, don't forget to uh, like subscribe if you haven't done so and then join me for the next one which will be where we start our tissue covering so until then Take care and happy flying.